Okay, I'm sorry. I had to figure out what the, there was something wrong with the problem, but I figured it out. So it should say what is the minimum cost of one shirt um, because we want to have less than $12 and change, not more than $12 and change. So sorry, there's a typo right here. What is the minimum cost of one shirt? We can see here that the cost of the shirt has to be at least $12.66. Um, again, we're not gonna round that. He, he would have to be at least $12.66 per shirt in order for his change to be less than $12. So each shirt is at least $12.66. Sorry about the confusion. Okay, now I am gonna do two of these problems with you, these multi-step equations, uh, just because I didn't feel like the problems from yesterday were quite as multi-step. I'm gonna do A and D with you, I believe, or maybe we'll do A and B. Um, but I'm going to do two, and then you're going to finish this paper for homework, um, which is going to be the rest of the front and then the word problems on the back. All right, so let's look at A. We have 5x minus 12 is less than 3x minus 4, and we're going to solve this using inverse operations. Now, the reason I wanted to go over this is because we didn't do any yesterday that had a variable on both sides. So I just want to remind you that when we're solving an equation or an inequality, we want to move the smaller of the variables. So we're going to minus 3x over to the other side, just like we would if it was an equation, 5x minus 3x is 2x, and I'm bringing down the rest of my problem. Okay, now it's just a two-step equation. I know you guys got it from here. We're gonna add 12 to both sides. 2x is less than eight, negative four plus 12 is eight, and then finally we'll divide by two and get x is less than four. The space down here is for you to graph that, Remember, put your value from the inequality in the middle and then add a couple numbers on each side. This is gonna be an open circle shaded to the left. All right, and then why don't we do E as our other one? Uh, let's do B as our other one. So this problem does not have a variable on both sides, but it does include some distributing. So I am gonna distribute my variables here and get negative 0.6x. This is a negative times a negative. It's gonna turn positive. Quickly just doing the math there on my calculator and that's three, positive three. All right, now I am multiplying by a negative but I am not multiplying on both sides by a negative. So I am not changing my sign right now. Hopefully you caught that, okay? I'm still just working on one side. Now, later on in this problem, the sign is going to flip because of this right here but it's not flipped yet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and solve with a minus three on both sides. Negative 0.6x is less than or equal to 12. Divide by negative 0.6. This is where our sign flips. 12 divided by 0 0.06. Uh, okay, so that's gonna be negative 200. And this is what we're gonna graph. So I'm gonna put my negative 200 in the center, negative 199 negative 198, negative 201, negative 202, and I have a closed circle. This says x is greater than because we flipped that sign, so I'm gonna shade the greater than values, which are the values to the right.